Yeah, so we're trying to call the city of Riverside to report a water-related health and safety issue, as I've just mentioned in three videos. Oh yeah, look at that. Let's try this again. That's very interesting that all of a sudden the phone number for the city uh, of Riverside is no longer working. Seven, eight, two, zero, three, three, zero. This is the number that you call citywide to report um, problems with the utilities, right? So water, trash, electricity. <laughs> the number is no longer working. Look at this. That's amazing. So it's 2.38 p.m. on Tuesday, October 11th. And the citywide phone number for the city of Riverside is not working. Let's try this one more time. I mean, what is this, a third world country? When a citywide phone number with, you know, multiple extension that I'm assuming is reaching the city is not working. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. One, nine, five, one. I can't normally see numbers, but if I use my phone, I can definitely see the numbers on this keypad. Zero, three, three, zero. So it's seven, eight, two, zero, three, three, zero. That is the utilities department for the city of Riverside. Yeah, that's amazing. So in the middle of a busy afternoon on a weekday that is not a holiday, the city of Riverside phone number is no longer working. One, nine, five, one, seven, eight, two, zero, three, three, zero. And I've also tried calling that number on the phone that I'm recording this with, but because I need to make this recording, I'm not using that phone. I'm using a different phone. But... <laughs> so Riverside is officially like a third world country shithole because nobody can get a hold of the city to report problems with the utilities. The water from the tap of that kitchen right there suddenly started inducing symptoms consistent with chemical contamination about five or six days ago within moments of exposure to the chemicals that are in that water. The water from that tap and from that bathroom right there has never made us sick. I've been out here for almost four months. And in the entire time that I've been out here, um, not once have I experienced any kind of a water-related illness, anything. I mean, I've been drinking that water from the tap, like multiple glasses per day, using it to make coffee, to wash fruit, to wash vegetables. And suddenly, five days ago, five to seven days ago, right around October 2nd or 3rd, it suddenly started inducing the same exact set of symptoms that I've been getting when using the water from my kitchen tap in my apartment in Boston, which is interesting because I had to report water safety issues with my tap in Boston um, on multiple occasions over the last few years. Seven, eight, two, um, zero, three, three, zero. And the water from my kitchen tap in Boston is unsafe to drink. It induces symptoms consistent with chemical contamination every single time I try to use it with bare hands or try to use it to drink. So my solution to that was to just start wearing rubber gloves and there are no symptoms when I use that water from my tap in Boston with rubber gloves. Now, within the last seven days, the water from that kitchen tap right there, also from that bathtub, suddenly started inducing the same exact set of symptoms. So I'm now trying to call the city's utilities phone number. And it rings busy. And then it hangs up. That's unbelievable. I'm going to have to call uh, call the news or to report this to an outside agency. This is just unreal.